Hi everyone, welcome to another Azure Quick Start. Today we're going to be building an entire CI CD pipeline uh, using Visual Studio Team Services to deploy an ASP.NET Web App to Azure. My name is Damian Brady and I'm a Cloud Developer Advocate at Microsoft. So the quick start I'm following here is the build and deploy to an Azure Web App one on docs.microsoft.com. So I'm just running through this quick start and you can do the same. I've created a new instance of Visual Studio Team Services. So if I go to code, the first thing we're going to do is grab that sample code. So we can import from an existing Git repository. Uh, so we've got this GitHub um, example here. So let's import that repository into VSTS so we can use the code more locally. Okay, so the code's been imported now. Um, the next thing we want to do is create a web app in Azure for us to deploy to. So if we go to the Azure portal, the first thing we want to do is create a resource and we're going to create a web app. So let's click on that. We're going to give it a unique name. So let's call this, uh, let's call this Azure Quick Start, Oops. which is already taken, uh, .NET. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to use my Visual Studio Enterprise subscription, create a new uh, resource group, and I'm going to use Windows rather than Linux, and I'm going to use my free uh, service plan that I've got here as well. So let's click Create. And that'll go away and create our resource in Azure. Okay, so that's completed now. Let's go to that resource and I'm going to scroll down to this tab right down the bottom called Continuous Delivery Preview. So that's where we can set up our CI CD pipeline to deploy to this Azure app service. So let's click Configure. And I need to give it a bit of information here. First, I need to tell it where my code lives. Now, my code is in Visual Studio Team Services. Uh, I'm using my demo MS Demos account and the Azure Quick Start project and repository and that branch. Now, I'm using VSTS, but if you wanted to, you could get your code from GitHub or an external Git or a local one as well. Those are all options available to you. So the next thing we need to do is tell it what we're building. And I'm building an ASP.NET Core application, but you can see there's options for Node, PHP, Python, static web apps as well. We're using ASP.NET Core, so let's do that. If I wanted to at this point, I could also set up some load testing to test my service before actually deploying it to production. And I can also deploy to a different staging slot if I had staging slots enabled. I'm going to leave those for the moment, and we're just going to let that go ahead and configure the continuous delivery for us in VSTS. Okay, so that's been set up now, and you can see that it's created a build definition, a release definition, and even triggered a build. If we click on build definition, that'll take us right into Visual Studio Team Services to show us that there is a build running. And the same would happen with the link for release as well. So let's have a look at this build process running and just highlight a couple of things that are happening here. First, we see all of the logs that are happening as this application builds. We can follow along with the build itself to make sure that everything's going OK. We can see our, our progress on the left as well as all the logs on the right. So let's just wait for that to finish. OK, so while that's building, let's just go and have a look at that release. And once again, this link directly to the release definition takes us right there. So we don't have any releases running at the moment, but you can see the pipeline that's been set up. If you edit that release definition, we're taking the drop from our build and going straight into production. So once this is complete, once the CI build and the continuous deployment has finished, we can come back to Azure, and if we refresh the logs, we can see that the activity logs actually show that we have this version of our source deployed using this build and this release. So if we jump up to our overview, we can click on the URL and see that website spin up as well. And so there's our starting application. Now if we jump back to VSTS and want to actually make a change to our code, we can do that directly here as well. So if we go to Code and then Files, we can have a look at our .NET Core sample, go to Views, and let's have a look at our home index. We can edit this directly in the browser as well, but normally when you're editing your code, you're probably doing it in Visual Studio or VS Code or something like that. Let's just do this CI CD demo, make a commit, updated index.html, that's fine. And then that commit has been pushed to VSTS. And if we go back to our build and release, 
we should be able to see that there is another build in progress that will also deploy and push that out to our Azure App Service as well. So there you go. That is the way to get started with CICD deploying an ASP.NET web application all the way through to Azure with a correct pipeline.